Hi there, my name is Katie Asberg and I lead global retail partnerships for Google's new and exciting suite of business communication products. Today, my colleague Sean and I cannot be more thrilled to share our most recent launch, Google Business Messages. But before we dive into what our product is, or even how it works, it's helpful to understand why this technology is so critical. As with all great tech evolutions, the solution often stems from a problem and ours is no different. So briefly, I'm gonna ask you to put your user hat on for a moment and humor me as I pose a few questions. How many of you have experienced at least one or more of the following situations over the last couple of months? Might you have had to rebook travel? Perhaps you remember the feeling of going to multiple stores and still not finding the product you were looking for. Or could it be that you were working from home or perhaps your kids were completing their e-learning course when suddenly your internet went out? In all of those situations, Users needed to get in touch with brands or businesses, but because there was an outreach spike, these critical connections were seemingly impossible. Almost every business was promoting on either their website or answering machine that call volumes were up and wait times were exceptionally long. Few provided alternative means to get in touch and resolution, at least in a manner that was convenient, say on the user's terms, seemed impossible. Now, if I'm a customer, when I hear, exceptionally long wait times, I think, great, this is gonna take forever. And who has the time to wait on hold anymore? Time and attention has become increasingly more valuable. And while exacerbated by the global pandemic, this concept is not new. Users are just simply pulled in too many directions, but the same can be said for businesses now. In addition to the overwhelming demand to speak to someone caused by the global pandemic, it's no secret that businesses have also been tasked with an influx of new responsibilities. For example, most are instituting new health standards to keep employees safe, and many are adjusting their operational protocols to meet new and evolving consumption behaviors. Absent of user demands to diversify interaction channels, businesses are going to have to rethink the way they communicate with customers such that interactions are more meaningful, result in resolutions, and ultimately drive connections that count. Now, we at Google understand that we're often responsible for facilitating that connection between a user and a brand. And over the last 20 years, we've worked to perfect the art of surfacing the right product, service, and business in the moments that matter. But as technology evolves, we've come to understand that surfacing a call button, or perhaps a link to a contact us page, might not be the most effective way for us to facilitate this connection. In fact, these connections can be incredibly expensive for businesses and extremely frustrating for users. Did you know that businesses spend 1.3 trillion on 265 billion customer service calls each year? And 67% of people have raised their hand indicating that they would rather message a business than speak with a person. The communication experiences of today are expensive, frustrating, and frankly, inconvenient, which is why users have begun to demand conversational messaging solutions, not just from Google, but from their favorite brands and businesses. To be successful in this space, it has become abundantly clear that three things must be true about your messaging experiences. They must be asynchronous, enabling users to pick up and exit the conversation at their convenience, automated, returning responses to users in real time, and finally, assisted, helping users to determine which products or services are right for them. Today, as a result of these learnings, we couldn't be more excited to share how we've evolved the Google search experience to facilitate making connections that count. Over to you, Sean. Thanks, Katie. My name is Sean Faulkner, and I lead developer relations for Google's business communication products. And I'm going to take you through our conversational solution, business messages. So what exactly is business messages? Business messages lets your customers message your business directly from your search and maps results. As Katie described, many business conversations begin on a Google surface like search or maps. And until recently, customers are calling your business for support or digging through your website to find the correct means to contact you. With business messages, you can provide customers high quality help through your search and maps results. Instead of a customer being redirected to your phone system or website, they will see a message button where they can begin a conversation with your business. So how do you go about creating a conversational experience for your business with business messages? Let's take a look. 
As a consumer, your customer user journey begins as it does today by searching for that business on Google search. Once you find the business you're trying to contact, instead of only seeing call directions and website buttons, a, a business enabled with business messages will also have a message button. Tapping on the message button will launch a conversational surface where you can begin chatting with that business. These conversations can begin on an iOS or Android device. Behind the scenes, what is happening is the messages sent from consumers are passed through the business messages API through to a messaging partner or your business directly via a configured webhook. Once you receive the message, you can pass that message to a live or digital agent. This diagram shows this process in a little more detail. The user or consumer begins on search or maps, looks up a business, opens a conversation with that business, is greeted with a customized welcome message, and begins a conversation. Messages from the consumer are passed through the Northbound API and push your webhook as a JSON object. The webhook parses the received object that contains the consumer's message, the preferred language of the user, timestamp information, a unique conversation ID, and the consumer's display name. Within your webhook, you can route that message to a digital agent as your first line of defense for handling common customer support issues, or pass the conversation over to a live agent to handle more complex user journeys. Business messages helps you leverage the existing user behavior to contact your business through search or maps, where you can continue to take advantage of the discovery and reach of these products, while providing a more direct way for you to have real and meaningful personalized conversations with your consumers. The Business Messages platform and API supports rich features like cards, carousels, suggestion chips, photos, and actions that help you deep link into your website or app. By utilizing these rich features, you can create an engaging user journey to capture leads, sell products, or solve customer support issues. By combining the discovery and reach of your business on search, along with the rich features I just mentioned, and automation through a digital agent, you can help your consumers solve customer issues without the cost of a phone call or live agent. Like with an app or website, the business messages rich features help you direct the user through a supported user journey that can be fully automated. Digital agents can be created using tools like Google Cloud's Dialogflow, our tool for creating agents that understand natural language. Companies like Walmart have used Dialogflow to not only power their digital agent on business messages, but also automate a large majority of customer support inquiries, leaving their live agents available to handle more complex and unique requests. Business Messages is an innovation in creating true customer connections. The rich features of the platform help you put guardrails around your automated experiences so you can steer your consumers through a happy path to solve problems. But outside of the fancy features, this is a conversational platform. Your customer is conversing directly with your business. Utilizing tools like Dialogflow help you to automatically respond quickly and naturally to, to customers, regardless of the time of day or current load on your live agents. The combination of a natural entry point from search, the rich user interface, and the powerful automation provided by tools like Dialogflow represent a true technological innovation. In fact, we see these major shifts in how consumers interact with technology and businesses every 10 years or so. Back in the 70s, we had mainframes. In the 80s, we had desktop computing. In the mid-90s, the internet. And then in the mid-aughts, mobile and the smartphone revolution. It's now hard to imagine a world today without a smartphone. We're all walking around with a small computer in our pocket. This would have been unheard of 20 years ago, but it completely changed how your consumers interact with your business. You had to adapt to creating an app for your business, redesigning your website to adapt to smartphone screen sizes. And now I believe the next shift is happening is around AI, messaging, and personalized rich conversations. Business messages is Google's solution to help your business adapt to this technological evolution. All right, let's take a look at a couple of real world examples. This first demo is from Walmart, who is live with business messages for some of their locations in the United States. They deployed a digital agent first experience where they use dialogue flow to create a conversational agent that can address common customer support issues like opening senior hours, COVID-19 protocols, and looking up store locations. Their business messages webhook is using Node.js to call the Dialogflow APIs to power the digital agent. They did a lot of iteration on their automation, 
reviewing where the original dialogue flow agent was unable to help and made iterative improvements. They're now handling the majority of customer support requests through their automation. Let's take a look at their experience. Let's begin our journey to speak to my local Walmart, the Google search. So I look up Walmart San Jose, and I'm shown a few different potential locations. I choose the Walmart Supercenter that I know, and I see the local listing result. To begin my chat experience, I tap on Message, which opens a conversational overlay with this specific Walmart. I see a customized welcome message, letting me know what this chatbot can help me with. I choose to agree to continue my conversation. Once the chatbot receives my acknowledgement, my conversation with the digital agent begins. From the greeting, I can see a chip list with the various types of user journeys the chatbot supports. Things like hiring, pickup times, inventory, hours, store safety, and so on. There's really a lot that the chatbot can help me with. I'm going to choose store hours. When I choose this item, the request is being sent back through the business messages API to the Walmart webhook. And then the webhook is sending this request to Dialogflow to compute a response based on the query. And in this case, the specific Walmart application that I asked about. Because this is a chat interface, I can also just type in my request. So I'm going to ask, do I have to wear a mask? Once I hit send, the same process to handle this message through Walmart's digital agent will be carried out. And we can see that since July 20th, all shoppers have to wear a mask. This is super helpful. I'm going to ask one more question. This time I ask, is there a limit to how many people can be in the store at once? Once Walmart receives this request, they respond letting me know that they're taking measures to promote social distance. And they include a link out to read more about these measures. So with the Walmart's business messages experience, I was able to find out the hours and the COVID-19 protocol requirements from my local store, all without having to wait to speak to a live agent or dig through the Walmart website for the information. Because Walmart is leveraging dialogue flow in this experience, I can also have a natural conversation with the bot, which is really, really amazing. The second demo is from Woolworths, Australia's largest supermarket chain. Like Walmart, they use dialogue flow to create a digital agent first approach. They put a lot of their company's personality in the automation, following conversational design best practices, such as starting with a persona, creating a unique voice, and example dialogue. Besides handling simple questions and answers, the agent also helps customers look up inventory within their local Woolworths. Let's take a look at their demo. As with Walmart, I begin my Woolworths chat experience with a Google search for a local location, this time in Sydney. Directly within the search results, I see the location I'm looking for, and I can tap on the message button. I see that I am talking to all of Woolworths virtual assistant, and there are some conversational starters I can use to begin my conversation. I'm going to start by trying to find a product. Olive prompts me for the product, and I'm going to try to find hand sanitizer, something that we all likely need right now. Olive is looking at the query, and it does a great job of setting expectations about the stock levels. My results for the specific store come back in a carousel, and I can see that although the first brand is out of stock, there is another brand available, and in fact, it's even available in aisle 14. I know my local store has hand sanitizer. I'm going to search for another product by simply typing in, I'm also looking for Tim Tams, one of my favorite Australian treats. The same process is carried out, where Olive is going to understand my question and look up the stock levels for this specific store and product. Once my results are returned, I see that there is stock available in a few different flavors and they are available in aisle nine. Now that I know what I need is available, I'm going to look up the location store hours so I know when I can pick up my hand sanitizer and Tim Tams. Looks like most stores are back on regular hours. All of returns both the store hours for the location I was interested in, as well as others close by, so that I have a few different options. I can also see that there is more information available through the store locator, which is an action that deep links in the Woolworths website where I can get more information about the store location. This Woolworths business messages chatbot is live across locations in Australia. The real-time inventory lookup is a powerful experience for customers, saving us potentially unnecessary trips to the store. Those are just two examples of existing experiences on business messages today. There are many other customer journeys that you can potentially create on the platform for your business. To talk about the future of messaging, I'm going to pass this back to Katie. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sean. 
It's inevitable that users will not only expect this technology, but eventually demand it from their favorite brands and businesses. And as this happens, you'll start to see a natural evolution in the sophistication of these conversations. Today, these conversations may be limited to simple FAQs in the pursuit of fast, easily accessible information in a streamlined format, but they too should be sophisticated enough to serve as appropriate contextual information. Let's take a look at an example. Meet Dash, Bridgeport Runner's virtual assistant. In this example, you'll see that I've asked Dash where my store opens in the morning, and he promptly returns 7.30 a.m. He also addresses my curbside pickup and query and finishes by asking if there's anything else I need help with. Now again, the back and forth here is mainly FAQ driven, but even within the language Dash uses, for example, it sure is, you feel his eagerness, which is in line with our persona best practices Sean touched on earlier. The next evolution we can expect to see with these experiences is consultative discussions. This can lead to conversational commerce or even assistive decision making. For example, determining which department you'll need to be connected with before handing off the experience to a skilled live agent. In the upcoming example, you'll see that Dash has the ability to take customer contacts, make calculated recommendations, and finally, facilitate conversational commerce all within the confines of a frictionless chat. Let's take a look. In response to anything else I can help with, I let Dash know that I'm running a 5K and ask him for shoe recommendations. With his enthusiastic attitude, Dash quickly returns a handful of shoes that suit my needs. Once Dash confirms that the product I'm looking for is in fact available, I promptly am deep linked to the website to transact. Here you'll notice that my store and curbside have already been pre-selected, making my checkout process infinitely easier. Then, within the messaging experience, I'm past the appropriate tracking information and notified when my order is ready to be picked up. Pretty cool, right? Finally, when we look to the future of this technology, we fully expect that come 2021, or maybe even late 2020, marketing teams will be building conversational strategies into their immediate plans. This is because these conversational experiences enable brands to build loyalty and maintain one-to-one -one relationships with their users, ultimately increasing the overall lifetime value of their existing customer base. Personalization will reach new heights as contextual information is used to reach out to customers in new and assistive ways. Let's take a look. In this final example, you'll see that Dash has reached back out to me, not only to see how my training's been going, but also to ensure I like my new shoes. He then surfaces many helpful options, including running content, other products I may need, as well as 5K tips. When I click through on the running content chip, you'll see that I'm past a running techniques video that could be incredibly useful as I prepare for the upcoming race. What's unique about this experience is that Dash didn't ask for the sale. He didn't even push me any promotions. He focused on the user and was able to connect with me in a way that few brands can. As we look to the future that is conversational marketing, ask yourself, are you ready for today, tomorrow, and the future of messaging? If your answer is yes, we'd love to get you onboarded. If your answer is no, that's okay too. It's not too late to build an effective strategy. And should you have any questions, we're here to help. If you'd like to learn more about Google Business Messages, please take a look at our website and be sure to fill out the interest form. From all of us on the business communications team, thank you for your time and we look forward to hearing from you.